A database view is a virtual table created by a query that selects data from one or more underlying tables. It does not store data itself, but represents data as if it were a table. Views simplify complex queries and can present aggregated or calculated data. Snowflake supports standard views, so-called non-materialized views, as well as materialized views. To support data sharing, it also offers secure views for each type. In this tutorial, we will explore how dynamic data masking or column level security works with each type of view. Do all view types support dynamic data masking or there are limitations? This is a hands-on video. So to gain a comprehensive understanding of column level security for Snowflake views, stay tuned until the end. Welcome to my channel, Data Engineering Simplified. For all my demonstration, I will be utilizing the free trial edition of Snowflake on AWS. Make sure to adjust the video quality to 4K since all my recordings are in that resolution. To speed up your learning process, consider increasing the playback speed to 1.25x or 1.5x. For direct communication, feel free to message me on my Instagram account or join my exclusive Facebook group. If you are interested in systematically enhancing your Snowflake skill, check out my premium Udemy courses. So this is my SnowSite web UI. And this is my first worksheet called View and Dynamic Data Masking. I'm going to create a customer table which has customer specific information. And for this demonstration purpose, I am going to mask the credit card when we create a view. So this table will be created under test database public schema. So I got my customer table created. Let's quickly describe the table. I have total 12 column. If you look into this policy name, I do not have any masking policy associated with the table. Now, if I select star from the customer, I do not have any data. Now let's go back to the database menu and load the data. So this is my test database public schema customer table. Here I click on the load data and quickly push the CSV file, which has a customer information. This is my CSV file, which has 1000 customer record. And I'm going to load this CSV file into my customer table. So I got my customer.csv file here. I'm just skipping the first line. Double quote as filled optionally enclosed by parameter. And only load valid data from the file. Click on load button. So here you can see total 1000 rows loaded successfully. Going back to my worksheet, now let me re-execute this customer table. I can see 1000 rows loaded. And this is how my customer data looks like. Now I'm going to create four different views. The first is standard views. Second is secure standard views. Third is materialized view. And fourth is secure materialized views. And to keep the overall logic simple, I am just doing select star from a customer. So I got total four views created. Let's go back to the database menu. Let's refresh it. I see there are total four views. Now first click on a standard customer view and see how the data looks like. So if I click onto the column, I have 12 columns and I do not have any masking policy associated with my credit card, which I'm targeting for this demonstration purpose. And this is how the result looks like when I query the view. When I click on a secure customer view, this shows the same record. When I go for a materialized customer view, this also shows 12 columns. And let me click on the data preview. It shows exactly the same data set. And here it says materialized view. And this is my secure materialized view. So all of them are showing the same result. Right now, no masking policy is applied. Let me go back to my worksheet. Now I'm going to create my first masking policy. And here it is taking a text data type or a string data type. And if my current role, which is a dummy role, which says if the role does not exist, return the input text as is. Otherwise, mask the data. We have seen how to create a masking policy in our previous chapter. So I'm not going to explain. So let's quickly create and associate this masking policy with my view. And let's see how each of this alter statement works. Asking policy got created. Now here I am going to run four different alter command and associate the same masking policy with each of the view 
with credit card number column. So this got executed. Let me quickly run all the alter statement. So all of them got executed. Let's go back to the database view. Now first I will check my standard customer view. And when I click on the columns, here under the masking policy, I can see my mask sensitive text is associated with this column. And when I click on a data preview, the credit card number is mask. Now let's check a secure customer view. Here also the credit card number is masked. If I click on materialized customer view, the credit card column in materialized customer view is also masked. And when I click on secure materialized customer view, here also the credit card number is masked. And if I see the masking policy even for materialized view, I can see this masking policy is applied. So whether it is non-materialized view, standard or a secure, or it is materialized view, again standard or a secure, dynamic data masking can be used to all the variant of the views. Now this is my another worksheet called table versus view dynamic data masking, where we are going to simulate if the dynamic masking is already applied to a customer, can I apply a dynamic masking on the view where the underlying table is this table. So I'm going to create another table called customer underscore v2 which has a similar structure and we are going to apply a masking policy on the customer underscore v2 and then we are going to create a view and then we are going to apply another masking policy on the view and see how does it work. So my customer v2 is created. I do not have any data. So let's load data to customer v2 table. I'm going to choose the same options. So 1000 rows loaded into my customer V2 table. Now let's run the select statement. So I can see 1000 rows. Now I am going to create cart masking policy. So if you look into this cart masking policy, if the role is system admin, it masks the card number partially. And if the role is other than system admin, it actually does the full masking. Okay, so let's create this masking policy. So my card masking policy is created successfully. Now I'm going to alter my customer V2 table and associate this card masking policy with card number. So my policy is created. Now let's execute this select statement. Now with the masking policy directly associated with the customer table, my credit card number is partially masked. Looks good. Now I'm going to create another masking policy. And in this masking policy, I'm going to mask first 12 character of the credit card. However, this particular eight card number is already masked at the table level. Now first I'm going to create a view called standard customer view 2. And it is selecting the data from the customer E2 table. So it is created successfully. Now, if I do not associate any policy and if I just do a select star from the customer V2 view, let's see what result does it bring. If you see the underlying credit card customer data is already masked at the customer table level. If you try to run a select statement through a view, the data will still appear masked. So I'm going to execute this alter statement, which will set the masking policy with the view directly. And let's run this. Now, if I run the select statement, let's see what happens. Now, instead of first eight character, first 12 characters are masked. And this is how the result appears. So it is very clear that when we have to mask a table or a view, we can follow the exact same policy approach or a tag based approach to mask our sensitive information in a snowflake.
hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Your support not only recognizes the work behind this free content, but also helps other to discover this playlist. And if you think it can help someone else in your team, feel free to share. Thanks for watching and let's spread the knowledge and growth together.